whose each digit can be used only once. Check which of the following numbers is divisible by n. Here, three make three different digit numbers. We have to we have to find three 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 digit numbers by using the digits one, nine, and eight. And uh, these digits can be repeated in the number. If you only once, you can use one digit in that number. Don't use uh, repeated numbers like the uh, one nine one, eight nine eight. Eight nine nine. Like that, you can't. You don't. You don't repeat these numbers. Only place one contact only. Okay. After arranging, check which of the following numbers is useful by nine. We have to check the numbers. If it is useful by nine or the not. Okay, so then let's start. Given numbers. First of all, write the given numbers. Given numbers are. Or given digits are one, nine, and eight. Okay, so that by seeing these numbers, by seeing these numbers, you can write one and eight easily. This same order by using this order, I am writing one hundred and ninety-eight. Okay, this is the first number. And second number is there was this number. There was this number eight hundred and ninety-one. Eight hundred and ninety-one. Now, now first we have now write first uh, nine. Okay, first write nine and write any numbers. Nine one eight. You can also write eight nineteen, nine eighty one, like that. Like that, I will write the numbers. Okay, children. Now he is asking for only. Now we can we can check these numbers. If these numbers are divisible by nine or not. What is the divisible rule of nine? The divisible rule of nine is sum of sum of digits in a number is divisible by nine. Then then. These numbers are divisible by nine. Now check the sum of the digits. Check the sum of the numbers. One plus nine plus eight. One plus nine, ten. Ten plus eight, eighteen. Now eight plus nine plus one. Eight plus nine is equal to seventeen. Seventeen plus one, eighteen. Nine hundred and eighteen. Nine plus one plus eight. Nine plus one is equal to ten. Ten plus eight, eighteen. So is eighteen is divisible by nine? As it is divisible by nine, because nine two is eighteen. So that implies this number is divisible by nine. This is also divisible by nine, and this is also divisible by nine. Because these two numbers also have some or eighteen. So eighteen is divisible by nine. Nine two is eighteen. That's why these two numbers are also divisible by nine. Okay, children. Okay, so let's see the next question. Which number sum of two, three, five, six, nine divides one thousand one thousand three hundred and forty-five? So, see here, children. Which number sum of two, three, five, six, nine? We have to find which number is the divisible. The one thousand three hundred forty-five divided is divisible by which number sum of these five numbers? Okay. Write the given number one thousand three hundred and forty-five. So first of all, check in uh, two. Check two. What is the divisibility rule of two? The units must have numbers two, four, six, eight, and zero. So any of these numbers which have between the units, then this number is divisible by two. So if it is have numbers two, four, six, eight, and zero, then this number is divisible by two. So if it has five units, then this number is divisible by two. So if it has five units, then this number is divisible by two. Units place, but apply is not divisible by two. Okay, now check uh, three. 
what is the difference between rule of 3 sum of the digits must be divisible by 3 or it is a factor of 3 so as the digits 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 is divisible by 3. 5 by 5 15. 5 into 3 is equal to 15. 5 3 is equal to 3, 5 is equal to 15. So, it is divisible by 3. And check 5. What is the divisible rule of 5? The difficulty rule of 5 is in unit stress must have. The numbers unit stress must have 0 or 5. Okay. See here if unit stress have 5, so it is divisible by 5. Its unit stress has 5. Therefore, it is divisible by 5. Check uh, 6. What is the divisible rule of 6? It must, it must be divisible by 2 and also by 3. So, this number is not divisible by 2. That's why it is not divisible by 6. Check uh, 9. What is the divisible rule of 9? The sum of the digits in the number must be divisible by 9. So if you add this number, means uh, sum is 15, so 15 is not divisible by 9, then it is not divisible by 9. It is not divisible by 9. Okay, children. Okay, children, see here, find the smallest number that must be added to 123 so that it becomes exactly divisible by 9. Okay, here we have to find the smallest number. If you add that number to 125, then that number, then that number should be exactly divisible by 5. So, in this type of, in this model of sums, what we have to do is simply divide 123 with 5. 123 divided by 5. So take division for 123 by 5. In 12, how many times? 2 times. 5 to user 10. So subtract uh, 10 from 12. If you subtract it, 2 here and 0. I want I am taking this carry 3. I am taking this carry 3 to down here. In 23, how many times? 4 times. 4 times. Now, 5 was at 20. So the remainder is 3. Remainder is 3. Now, how much, it should, how much, how much we have to add this number if it is useful by 5? Here, if you add, uh, if you add 2 to this 3, this 3, or simply subtract uh, this remainder from 5. How much we get? 2. Okay. Simply what we have to do is simply we have to subtract this remainder from 5. Subtract this remainder from 5. Then we get 2. If you add 2 this 2 to this number, I am adding 2 to 123, it becomes 125. Now take division for 125. It is 2 times 10. 2 are taking carry here 5 times 25, 0. So it is exactly useful by 5 now. So see here children, 100, we have to take uh, division here 123 divided by 5. I am taking division and the remainder is 3 I get. So take subtraction, take subtraction. We have to, we have to subtract remainder from this divisor. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So if you add 2, to this number, then we get the exactly divisible number. Okay, children. So, what is the smallest number? Smallest number is two. Okay, 
Okay, so then second next question is find the smallest number that must be subtracted from 256 so that it becomes exactly divisible by 10. Exactly divisible by 10. So here we have to subtract the smallest number, then that number must be exactly divisible by 10. So given that number 256 divisible by 10, take given for 256 by 10. So 256. How many times in 25? 2 times 10 into 2, 20. Take subtraction here. 5. So I am taking this carry down, down here. 56 in 56, 5 times. And it is 50. Now, now 56 minus 50 is equal to 6. I get the remainder 6. See here children, this 6 is a extra 6, extra 6. If you, if you remove this 6 here, if you remove this 6 here, it becomes 50, 50 minus 50 is 0. So, what is the, what is the extra number here? 6 is the extra number here. So, we have to subtract 6 from 256. So, 256, therefore, 256 minus 6 is equal to 250. Now, now from the divide end we have to subtract uh, 6. We have to subtract 6 from the divide end. So 256 minus 6 is equal to 250. So see here, check here, 250 is divisible by 10 or not. It is in 25 it is 2 times 25 and I am taking this carry to here 5 times 10 is 50 and 0 it is exactly divisible by 10. So therefore the smallest number is six. Okay, children. Okay, children. Next question is: Write the smallest and greatest possible digits in the blank of each of the following numbers so that the number found is divisible by three. So the number is. 10. Okay, children. Here the question given is dash 6, 7, 2, 4. Here blank is given before 6. So we have to find the smallest and greatest uh, positive numbers. Positive numbers in this blank. So it, but this number should be divisible by 3. First of all, what we have to do, to do is we have to add these 4 numbers 6 plus, 7 plus, 2 plus, 4. Now add this number 6 plus 7 is equal to 13, 13 plus 2, 15, 15 plus 4, 19 we get. To get 19, what is the nearest number and which is greater than 19, which is divisible by 3? 21 is the nearest number which is divisible by 3 and also greater than 19. So 21 is the nearest number. Now, now subtract the 19 from 21. 21 minus 19 is equal to 2. This is the 2 is the smallest number. 2 is the smallest number in the plan. If you place this 2 in this in this plan, now add this 6 is 5 digits. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8, 8 plus 7, 15, 15 plus 2, 17, 17 plus 4, 21. 21 is divisible by 3. So this number is divisible by 3. One number is 2. Now greatest number also is asking. Here only one digit we have to place. So I am taking here after 21 what is the number which is divisible by 3? 21 after 24 and 27 and 30 and so on. Now take subtractions 24 minus 19, 24 minus 19, 30 minus 19. 24 minus 19 is 5 and 27 minus 19 is 8. 30 minus 19 is 11. So we have to place only one digit here. 11 has two digits, one set that so it is not the number. So next greatest number is among these two digits, which is the greatest number? 8 is the greatest number. That's why another number is 8. If you add 8 to this uh, in this plan, 8 plus 6 is equal to 14, 14 plus 7, 21, 21 plus 2, 23, 23 plus 4, 27. So therefore the smallest number is 2 